Do you need a snack? You want a snack? I don't like you. I'm good. Are you sure? I'm good. Okay. Come on, dude, man up. It's fine, don't worry. Maybe we can talk um, something else. So, Steven, um, so you don't have a girlfriend, right? No. Who's your type? My type? <laughs> well, I do like the smart girls. Okay. Well, would like someone who, someone who doesn't have a, dis a disability. So, like, Emma Watson. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Why you don't want the girls without Down syndrome? How can I put you uh, this politely to you? Um, when it comes to girls and dating, I kind of go for the, the typical. If you are dating someone without Down syndrome, it means that you hurt somebody's feelings. It's called salting people. I'm not consulting anybody. What is this, like a therapy session? No. Are you trying to hypnotize me or something? No. Like, for example, like, um, Angel and I were strangers. And we went to Special Olympics. Then after that, me and him were gripping a boyfriend. And he's the one day proposed to me. People with disabilities are like, have a different communication than others. And I feel like sometimes I get frustrated when uh, the conversation kind of is like one sided. You're acting like a grandma from the, 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 the 50s. I'm not your grandma. First, there is a rule. Like a grandma. It does not not to My say. grandma. Because uh, you come off as like uh, this. You need two shoots, got a gal. I didn't say that. I tried to ask you That's not the question why you don't want to date with some of the girls who without a dance syndrome. It's just how I look at things, how I actually react to people. Hmm. Can I have some help over here? Sure thing. Christina's trying to ask me something that I kind of feeling a little uh, uncomfortable with. Okay. All right. What's up? When it comes to girls, I kind of go for the, the typical. But are you are you feeling like you're kind of limiting who you might want to be pursuing based on the fact that you don't want to date somebody who might have a disability? It's kind of just been my thing ever since growing up. Hmm. Growing up, I kind of felt like uh, right. my disability was more of a curse as opposed to like just I accepting it. Uh huh. And I kind of felt hidden fr from it. Okay, so you were kind of trying to like maybe deny that part of yourself. Yeah. Okay. That's how I felt when I when I was growing up. Yeah. That's hard. I just kind of wanted to be s somebody else rather than myself. Yeah. You know, there's a part of you that's has some things that you're struggling with. Parts of your identity that you're still trying to to cope with. Yeah. Is that does that sound right? And that's hard work. And I think that you might be going through a lot of that hard work right now. I feel that you're feeling down. It's okay to be sad, but right. but how to to help? Bottom line, Christina, you want your friend to be happy. Yes. Right? You can make your life anything you want. I just want to feel love. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm human. We have to stick together.